Hello, this is Hope from Trifle Production with another Blender quick tip. And in this quick tip, I'm going to introduce you to a dot blend file that helps you generate pillows, uh, endless numbers of pillows. You have to generate them one at a time, but still, it's a pillow that you can generate in Blender uh, pretty easily. And this is only for Blender 3.1. I think it's for 3.0 also and above, nothing below that. And I'll leave a uh, link of the add-on of the dot blend file and the description below the video so you can download it yourselves and try it out. Uh, but once you open up the uh, download page, you'll be taken to this page and once again it's uh, you can put the amount that you want to put. It's, it's free so to speak, but put the amount that you want to put in this slot here. And then once you've done that, you can put zero or you can put any amount and purchase it. It will navigate you towards a uh, another page where you can download the content onto your system <clears throat> and once you've done that you just navigate to where you've downloaded it onto your system through Blender 3.0 or 3.1 I mean for myself it's easier that way as opposed to trying to click on it in the file and have it open up especially if, if you have a lot of versions of Blender on your computer you don't want to open up it up in the wrong version so I've downloaded it onto my system and it'll download as a dot zip file or as a zip file which is it uh, it's right here so you just left click and then you just press extract files I use WinRare you can use a WinRare or WinZip I think they're both uh, WinRare has a free version of itself you can use that that extracts all kinds of files or and uh, WinZip also does the same thing so once you've extracted it I'm gonna double click on that's right there to open up the, the folder uh, what I do is just go to file and open and I've already done that a few times with this tutorial but you just click in uh, on that folder and left click right click copy and then in this slot here left click again press control V enter and there it is left click on that and open now when you first open this uh, dot blend file it'll have the wrong options open off, off to the side but let, let me minimize this let me join these areas here so we can get a very better view of what I'm talking about so I'm going to hover left click join areas hover left click join areas now right now it's uh, got the wrong tool set open so we're going to go down to the modifiers let's click on our pillow first and let's activate our, our overlays here so we can see what we're clicking on I'm going to scroll down to the modifier tab and here's where all your options are in terms of how you want to uh, I guess where you want the pillow to look it's just pretty much straightforward the height, width, thickness, so on and so forth we'll just go through uh, all the parameters here you can get an idea of how uh, this all works now this is using geometry nodes which is where Blender has been going for the last I guess the last year or so and it helps to really you know populate or generate items or meshes in Blender pretty fast if you know how to use it <coughs> excuse me but here we have the heights for the pillow make it taller or shorter you can mess that parameter give you different uh, heights of the pillow in here it affects the width of it that parameter there makes it longer or shorter and the thickness is affected by this uh, parameter here make it really fat puffy or really thin like paper thin now this affects the roughness of your pillow and the roughness is it, and we're talking about the crinkles and the uh, crevices and the wrinkles in the pillow so if you uh, uh, mess with the roughness it makes it really 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 flat really without wrinkles when you put it on zero and when you take it up higher it has roughness to the pillow let's give this let's uh, put that in the middle <coughs> give us a better view of our pillow again very better uh, mesh display of our pillow and the detail is just going to straightforward just gives you more detail in your pillows you turn it down less detail you turn it up 
you get a whole lot of detail. And the seat is just the randomness of, of the overall look of your pillow. Now the edge thickness, that's, uh, I'm going to call this the seam of your pillow, making this seam thick or thin. And turn it up, make it really thick. Turn it down, make it thin. Now let's turn on the detail a little bit so it's not so overwhelming. Okay, is it affecting? Okay, a little bit. Yeah, there it is. Okay, with uh, the seed, let's, if we change the seed, it gives us different sizes and different styles of pillow. That's like the randomness of the pillow to make it, you know, if you don't want to mess with all these parameters, you can just mess with this one as the primary adjustment for the way you want your pillow to look. But you got to be kind of careful with it because, as you can see, it gives you some kind of really kind of extreme results uh, that you might not want in your scene. And the subdivisions on the X and the Y's can be adjusted here. If we zoom in a little bit, you can see the the grid layout, so to speak, of the pillow, the, the vertices. And if we increase this on the X axis, it increases the number of vertices uh, on the X axis of the pillow. Now, once again, if you increase the subdivisions on this mesh, it's going to take a longer time to generate. So you might want to be a little bit careful with that. You can add more subdivisions on the X and Y axis and that will give you more detailed uh, details in the wrinkles. they will be more defined. And it'll be a lot smoother. But once again, it'll you know really draw on your computer system. So just be careful with your subdivisions on the X and on the Y. Now the uh, textures on the pillow, they do have a texture slot for it, but it's pink, which means it has no texture, it has a texture slot, but no textures have been applied, though you can apply them yourself. And the way to do that is uh, we selected our texture slot here by clicking on this icon, material slot, and it says the material there, but once again it's pink. So we're going to subdivide our scene here. Once you have your mouse over the cursor, over this uh, corner, it turns into a crosshairs. You can just left click and drag down to subdivide your window. And here, we're going to scroll over to this icon here. Left click on that and click on Shader Editor. Now they have everything sub really nicely, which is helpful. And your texture images go here. So we're going to left click on that X there and click on open and I'm going to navigate to where I keep all my textures on my system and I'm going to scroll down to something uh, let me pick this one, that one looks nice and open image and there you go that's the uh, texture applied automatically to the pillow yeah and that's today's blender quick tip a pillow generator dot blend file in blender and once again, I hope this uh, tutorial was helpful. This quick tip was helpful for those of you who are watching. Thank you for those of you who have subscribed in the past. Uh, those of you who are subscribing now. And those of you who will subscribe in the future. I really appreciate it. And I will see you guys on the next one. Alright, adios.